Hey friends, it's story time. Okay, so this particular shed hair is the one that I found on August 1st of 2023. And it was after my second cut on blown out hair after I had decided to no longer get curly cuts. And after that cut, I was just looking through my shed hairs right after the cut once I got home and I found this hair and I wrote some notes. And so you can see that I have like several pieces of paper and even right here, you can see writing. What I've done is kind of goofy, but I don't know, It's it works for me, is I've taken hairs throughout this process when I would get my hair blown out and cut or just randomly and I would date it and then I would write notes. So these notes go along with this um, piece of hair and my writing, <laughs> it don't look cute, but so don't judge me on my writing, but I dated it and I just wrote, you know, on August 1st of 2023, I wrote hair strand after second cut on blown out hair, regimen tweaked to include deep conditioner and leave in, my soul feels broke. And that is exactly how I felt at the time. I felt devastated. I just felt like, you know, I, I didn't know whether I was coming or going. It was at this point that I started questioning whether or not I needed to shave my head, like just all these thoughts, right? So fast forward, the initial um, finding, wait, how do I want to say it? So I initially found out May of 2023. That's when it all kind of took off for me where I was like, oh my gosh, we have some issues going on. And that was after I followed the Black Girl Curls, No Oils, No Butters method, also known as the 30 Day Hair Detox, and I was getting curly cuts. And it was around that particular time, May 1st um, of 2023, that I got my first cut on blown out hair and yada, yada, yada. So that is the initial start of everything for me. However, this hair was, like I said, August 1st of 2023. So this has been going on for quite some time. We are currently, as I'm filming this, it's September 26th of 2024. Sorry, I had to think about the date for a second there. It's September 26th. So from this hair strand to one that I'm about to pull out of my shed hair from yesterday's wash day, um, it's a year and one month later from the finding of this particular hair. But in totality, it's been about, what, uh, May, June, July, August, September. So May was 12 months, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's been 16 months. Okay, I hope you're tracking me. So I'm going to do my best to randomly, because we want to just do a little bit of comparison action trying to hold my phone, so forgive me. And we're just going to randomly pull the hair. <sighs> Come on, not two of you. Okay, randomly, <clears throat> well, that didn't work. Hold on, where did that even go? Okay, come on, Shelly. Um, I'm trying to I keep grabbing, oh. <sighs> okay. Grab. I can, it's like I can see it in the camera, but trying to grab it underneath because I'm trying to hold it in. Okay, I got one. Trying to hold it underneath and use both hands is a bit challenging. Okay, so now, because I don't want you guys to think I'm doing any um, tricky business. I'm trying to, okay, let's just put it down right here. So I'm going to try and stretch it out with my fingers. <laughs> this is not hardly working, but I don't want you to think that like I'm going to go off camera and find 
like a different piece of hair and try and like switch it up and do all that. Okay, so here we are. Freaking A, man. I hope you guys see what I'm trying to do. I know it seems a little weird. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. And I'm going to take a picture of it Well, because I'm using my iPhone while I'm talking through all of this. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay right there. For... Come on. Just bear with me, y'all. Just bear with your girl. And... Okay, okay. I got it. Okay, so let's take a picture because I want you to see the position of it and everything and I'll enter that into there. All right, so let's look at the hairs. Do you see the change in color from this hair to this hair? I don't know if you can, but this one looks like a lighter brown compared to this one. This one looks way darker. Then also just getting up on it you can see the integrity of this hair versus this hair. And this is, you know, a year and one month later between these two. And it's just mind blowing what happened to my hair. And I just, I just um, have had the hardest time wrapping my head around it. Also, like to get from here to here it's been a lot of trial and tribulation a lot of connecting the dots a lot of just trying to figure out what happened and i can tell you that my thoughts around it have changed um my approach to getting my hair from here back to a healthy point which is here has changed i've i've done some stupid stuff where i'm like okay i don't want to um, shampoo my hair and bring the shampoo all the way through my ends because that's not healthy and I have to tell you that is silly like you want to properly cleanse your hair all the way through because what I've learned and come to know is that it's not necessarily um it, it is but isn't the shampoos right like you can use shampoos that are super cleansing where the issue becomes, where I've realized the issue becomes rather, is that if you're not replenishing everything that's been stripped and cleansed away, that's when you can get into it, problems and have issues that can result in something like this. So I don't constantly strip my hair all the time. I use very moisturizing shampoos, which have got me back to here. But I'm also not afraid to cleanse my hair really, really well when it's warranted, um, especially if I'm going to do a soap press or something like that. And mind you, this piece of hair, I'm jumping all over the place. This is when I wasn't using any heat per se. I um, was like using all salon quality products, like spending anywhere from three to oh, close to $500 with tip on curly cuts, just all the things from um, Cut It Kinky certified stylus or so I thought, versus here, I've started to use heat periodically. I don't necessarily use all salon brand products and I'm just really enjoying my hair and look at the difference. It's just, it's just mind blowing. So anyways, what I was going to say is when I cleanse my hair really well, as long as I replenish what was stripped away and cleansed away, I'm good. And then I also make sure that I personally follow up with a leave-in just to help hold the hydration from the water from when I cleanse my hair, just to help hold that in my hair. And that's what helps keep my hair moisturized as well as like any little light oil that I want to use and that sort of thing. But anyways, look at the difference. I'm also going to take a picture and try and magnify this so that you guys can just see it all and um, like very up close and personal if that's possible. And yeah, actually, let me do that right now before these hairs slip.
Give me one second. Okay, so this is a picture that I took and I'm gonna show it to you sort of magnified. Oh my goodness, when I look at this, it doesn't even look like real. Um, it doesn't even look like hair. It just still blows my mind that something like this could happen. And you know what? I would love to see um, some other people's hair against a white background just to kind of, you know, get a real up close and personal look at it and see, you know, what we really dealing with. The challenge would be, though, that it wouldn't be cherry picked or borrowed. You know what I'm saying? But anywho. <laughs> okay, focus, Shelly, focus. So this is the hair. We've come a long way. And like I said, I've learned some very important things that I want to continue to share out for, for those who are in the same situation or they're still in the process of getting their hair back healthy. Alrighty, I was able to do it, but we'll see if it's magnified because I didn't want to take my hands off to look at anything. Anywho, um, what's interesting to me is that, you know, this happened to my hair and, you know, it wasn't easy to figure out how to repair my hair, but I've been able to do it. And honestly, I didn't really understand it all at first, but I feel like I do now. I feel like I've connected all the dots for myself. And I want to definitely share that. I'm going to share it in a video that I'm going to record coming up that's going to share with you my new updated hair care routine. Because like I said, I've really connected all the dots and I want to just share what those are and what it looks like including the length retention that I have been experiencing because you can grow your hair and it not be healthy. So we want healthy length retention. Amen. So that video will be coming soon on how I took my hair from being severely damaged back to healthy. And it's way more simple than you probably even think. But um, if you've noticed, other people have started to pivot and all that kind of stuff, which is good. Which is good um, because we all want healthy hair, right? But at first it kind of annoyed me because there was no accountability taken, but it is what it is. As long as the right information is being dispersed and hopefully no one else will have to go through this. And for those who are currently going through it, they'll be able to just figure out what to do to repair their hair. Yeah. So that's it. Anyways. I hope you all are doing well and until next time, bye.